does it all play out? It's quite an adventure here at CBSN. It's been a day. Tonight, the breaking news about whether schools and sports will start in the fall. The president threatens federal funding for schools that don't hold in-person classes, as the CDC announces they will issue new guidelines next week. But tonight, the nation's largest school system, New York City, announces schools will be limited to one to three days a week, What your family needs to know tonight. Plus, Ivy League schools place all sports on hold until January. The first D1 programs to cancel college football. Will other schools follow? America crosses 3 million cases. The U.S. sets a new record for most cases reported in a single day, 60,000, with many of them coming from Texas, Florida, and Arizona. Only on CBS News, our reporter on the front lines, tonight with exclusive access inside one hospital in a race against time. It's not just going to be you. It's going to be a whole family that's going to get sick. Heartburn drug danger? Could an over-the-counter drug you take every day double your risk of getting coronavirus? The new study out, what you need to know. Trump's taxes. Will the Supreme Court force the president to turn over his personal financial records to investigators? Plus the health scare for Chief Justice John Roberts. And finally tonight, during a national crisis, how a 12-year-old with a trumpet is lifting spirits. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We are going to begin tonight with another record-breaking day in a nationwide crisis that only appears to be getting worse. A surge of new infections in Florida, Texas, Arizona, and California pushed the U.S. past 3 million confirmed cases today, but didn't stop President Trump from ignoring the advice of his own health experts, threatened to pull federal funding from schools that don't fully reopen this fall. Just hours after the president slammed CDC guidelines for getting students back into schools as too tough, Vice President Mike Pence told reporters that guidance would be revised. Now, across the South tonight, the focus isn't on schools, it's on saving lives. In Florida, the death toll is rising and intensive care units are overflowing. In Arizona, people are now waiting up to 13 hours to be tested. Getting results could now take days due to backlogs. And in this COVID ward in McAllen, Texas, where CBS News was given exclusive access today, doctors there say they are being pushed to the brink. As we come on the air, we're also learning a nursing home near Fort Worth has been evacuated after a third of residents there have tested positive. So there's a lot of reporting to get to tonight, and our team of correspondents is covering it all. CBS's David Begno is going to lead off our coverage tonight in South Florida. Good evening, David. Good evening, Nora. We are in Broward County, and we just heard that here in the county, they are increasing their fines and penalties against people who are not following rules and regulations and are contributing to the spread of coronavirus. We are at Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood, 30 yards away from where I am. There is only what I can describe as a drive through COVID receiving center. You pull up, a nurse greets you, brings you inside this tented area, and immediately starts the triaging process.